Security Level 3 Item Number SCP-5601 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-5601 will remain in its original cage, held within Standard Containment Chamber 7 at Site-51. SCP-5601 does not require the standard maintenance and care typical of its species. All contact with it should be limited to proof testing and or interviews. Under no circumstances is the seal on its cage to be broken, nor any attempt made to breach the confines therein. All personnel attempting to do so will be considered compromised and immediately redesignated E-Class personnel. Exorcism and a long-term amnestic treatment of compromised individuals may be required. Interaction with SCP-5601 is restricted to members of the Site-51 Pharmaturgy Department Demonology Team. Standard Marquee Class protocols are to be in effect while transporting, interviewing, and or testing SCP-5601. All inquiries into information as attained through SCP-5601 must be approved by the Information Security Administration. Description SCP-5601 is a marquee class demonic entity. Note, according to the Lemon Demonology Index, marquee class demonic entities are mid-tier extraspatial entities with various anomalous capabilities. Notably, common abilities include telekinesis, divination, perception manipulation, and host possession. Marquee class entities are typically in control of large groups of lower class demonic entities, set known as legions, currently anchored to a grey parrot. SCP-5601 self-identifies by the name Phoenix. This title is further corroborated by the sigil used in the binding process. Fluent in both English and Latin, SCP-5601 is capable of perfectly emulating human speech. MRI tests indicate a restructuring of the syrinx and voice box to allow for proper speech, despite its current host originally lacking the physical requirement to do so. SCP-5601 has a small iron band attached to its left leg. The runes and lattices found on the band function as a second binding agent, preventing SCP-5601 from utilizing the full range of its abilities. SCP-5601 is locked within a thermically sealed iron bed cage. The iron use has been pressure treated with sodium chloride, further dampening any of SCP-5601's latent telekinetic abilities. Due to the cage lacking any door or entry mechanism, it is theorized that SCP-5601's host was present within the cage prior to the binding process. Engraved on the bottom of the cage is a sigil of Phoenix. Note, notably found in the lesser key of Solomon's Ars the Necronomicon, and several other tombs of occult academia, along with several ceiling lattices and runes of various origins. A repulsion lattice had been lit along the central bar of the cage. It is not to be newer than the rest of the engravings. This lattice is specifically used to repel other demonic entities from directly interacting with the cage. Discovery On 2020, June 5th, SCP-5601 was recovered by Deputy Sheriff Kyle White within an abandoned cabin in Bland County, Virginia. SCP-5601 was found with the skeletal remains of a middle-aged human male. The remains show signs of trauma consistent with long-term torture. The cabin was in a severe state of disrepair, though a small amount of evidence was able to be collected. This evidence was mostly occult in nature and has not been useful in identifying the remains. W.D. White's report 
included testimony stating the pirate knew detailed information about his and his wife's personal life. This testimony, evidence as well as the inscriptions depicted in photos of the cage led to Foundation web caller 77P30 flagging the file for investigation. After recovering SCP-3601, all involved individuals were amnesticized and all evidence was subsequently confiscated or destroyed. The following video of SCP-5601 was recovered from Deputy Howard Stanley's personal cell phone. Recovered audio recording. Begin log. Deputy White is standing in front of SCP-5601. You recording, Stanley? Yeah, yeah, go! Say again, little guy, who am I? A simple task, with a simple delight. A simple man, that Kyle White. Holy crap! I'm telling you, man, it's like he knew my name right off the bat. No way, you had to coach him before. I will tell you that it's a fact. I know quite more than this or that. I know what you do behind closed door, but embarrass you if I say more. Wait, what are you? Shh, I want to get this. The camera zooms in further on SCP-5601. Go ahead, little man, keep going. To tell you more, a simple task. You pray to tell, some more you ask. Mr. White and Wife, sleep with thy neighbor. For a noble man, such naughty behavior. Tied up and spanked him and wife. Such a simple man with a simple life. <laughs> no, 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 give me that. Deputy White's hand is seen approaching the camera. And now, uh, breach event. After a week of refusing to cooperate, SCP-5601 agreed to an interview. Interrogation Specialist Dr. Daniel O'Brien was chosen for this assignment and was scheduled to arrive two days later. The interview took place on 2020, June 14th. The following is a transcript of the event. Interview SCP-5601 Begin Log SCP-5601 is placed on a table in front of Dr. O'Brien. It is emulating the song of the morning bird. Dr. O'Brien clears his throat before he begins to speak. Hello, SCP-5601. My name is Doctor. An exchange of words for me to reply in. Is that not why you have come, Daniel O'Brien? SCP-5601's voice is quiet and childlike. It tilts its head, waiting for Dr. O'Brien's reply. I'm sure you've impressed many people with that little trick. I, however, am not one of them. I'd like to begin. Very well. Ask your questions. I will provide your favorite lessons. Let's start with, how do you end up in this cage? Or summon, of course. The only way, from the deepest depths to the light of day. Can you cut the rhyming crap out? I'm sorry, but can you just speak clearly? You ask of me, speak words clearer. I say no, talk to a mirror. Ask your questions, don't be uncouth. And when it is done, we'll both know the truth. Right. So he found skeletal remains in the bunker we covered you in. Where throws the remains of the one who summoned you? A pompous trickster, nothing more. Locked me away, knocked even a door. He toiled and prodded, much the same, until the day my enemies came. A pompous trickster. He was able to summon and bind you. Surely he was more than capable than your letting on. He called, I came. Simple transaction. Dire situation. An impulsive reaction. Who's dire situation? My own sadly failed attempt. For power wished. For power kept, a move I made for an empty throne. To my dismay, was not alone. Twenty legions marched on the sun. Twenty legions fell one by one. 
broken, beaten, locked in the cage, a distant voice I heard that day. He called, I came, desperate escape. He called, I came, and sealed my fate. Twenty legions? Sounds like you had quite the following. Why have you attempted to escape, to rally your forces? Dating on the skeleton shows you have almost ten years before we found you. To stay I must, I cannot lie. If I return, I surely die. What was once mine is no more. Locked in the cage, not even a door. Hiding in a bird, bent to the whims of a common trickster, or just to hide from your enemies. Sounds a bit cowardly, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no more silly rhymes? No ready dispute? The great Phoenix, master of none, keeper of the cage. Fitting titles for such a fool. So far from home, my displaced friend, you've come for me, yet met your end. Are you going to ride me to death, or is the mighty Phoenix going to peck me asunder? Quit your squawking and accept it, you're coming home. A lowly footman with so much bluster, but lack the nut you could not muster. How dare you! I'll show you what I can muster! Dr. O'Brien stands abruptly, knocking over his chair. SCP-5601 begins to squawk and flaps its wings erratically. Oh, hell, Andres! As Dr. O'Brien grabs the cage, the video feed distorts, a bright light emanates from it. After video feed restores, SCP-5601 can be seen unharmed in its cage, Dr. O'Brien laying the floor smothering. End log. Through autopsy, the O'Brien represented during this interview was revealed to be a homunculus. Note, an artificially created humanoid vessel. The real Dr. O'Brien's body was recovered several hours later, dead in the trunk of his car. The Foundation has since developed methods of detecting homunculi and subsequently stopped two additional attempts to recover SCP-5601. To show its gratitude for the protection given by the Foundation, SCP-3601 has agreed to cooperate and assist the demonology team. The information gathered from SCP-3601 has been invaluable in understanding demonic sociology, thaumaturgy, and other occult studies.